na mtazamaji wa ukurasa wetu wa Radio Mbio ninakukaribisha katika mojiano moja kwa moja kutoka katika uwanja wa ndege mjini Bukoba ambapo askofu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Peoria Marekani askofu Louis Tirka na kwa siku hii ya leo ya Januari 16 ndivyo ambavyo anaondoka na kutuaga hapa mjini Bukoba akirejea katika majukumu yake kwa Jimbo Katoliki la Peoria ikumbukwe kuwa askofu huyu Louis Tirka akiwa na mwenyeji wake Padre Deus Dedit Biabato waliwasili Januari tisa katika uwanja wa ndege hapa mjini Bukoba mas, majira ya saa saba za mchana naye alifanya ziara sehemu mbalimbali ikiwemo kukagua na kutazama miradi mbalimbali mbali kwa masista wa pale Kashozi wa shirika Januari kumi na kisha Januari kumi na moja aliwasili katika parokia ya msalaba mtakatifu kilimili le jimbo katoliki la bukoba na kutembelea vigango vya mwemage na kigango cha bubare bwera kwa januari hiyo kumina moja januari kumina mbili alipata wa sam zuri wa kutembelea vigango vya kiumro bweyendezi pamoja na kibeho kisha jioni yake hiyo akabariki convent ya masista wa shirika la mtakatifu karoli luanga wanaofanya utume wao katika parokia ya msalaba mtakatifu kilimili le jimbo katoliki la bukoba januari 13 tulishuhudia makuu ya uzinduzi wa kigango cha mtakatifu jude pale kenya na eh parokia hiyo ya kilimili le jimbo katoliki la bukoba ikiwa ni ushirikiano uliopo kati ya Jimbo Katoliki la Peoria na Jimbo Katoliki la Bukoba. Baada ya siku hiyo Januari 13 Januari 14 alifanya ziara ya kutembelea vigango mbalimbali ikiwemo mbali, kigango cha Machuniro, Omkihisi pamoja na kigango cha Nyankere. Mpaka Januari 15 alipoelekea Jimbo Katoliki la Kayanga na kufanya ziara pale na kukutana na askofu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Kayanga Skofu Almachius Vincent Ruyongeza leo Januari 16 inavyompendeza Mwenyezi Mungu ndivyo hivi ambavyo anatuaga hapa mjini Bukoba na kurejea Jimbo Katoliki la Peoria kwa ajili ya kuendelea na majukumu yake mengine Patrick Pascal Tibanga ndio langu jina tuko hapa kukuletea mahojiano haya na askofu Louis Tilka wa Jimbo Katoliki la Peoria ambapo tutakwenda kuzungumza naye mawili mata tatu kutushirikisha vile ziara yake imekuwa karibu tuwe pamoja mwanzo hadi tamati na sasa moja kwa moja tunaelekea katika maojiano hayo uh, it's been a great honor to be with you here in Bukoba Catholic Diocese Bishop Louis Tirico most welcome you again here thank you so much thank you so much Santa, Santa. thank you so much for visiting us in Tanzania particularly in Bukoba Diocese and Kayanga Diocese mm -hmm. What was your been most exciting moment during your stay in Tanzania and Holy Cross Parish at particular? It's hard to say there's only one <laughs> moment. It's been a, a great joy to see so many moments of grace. Uh, the welcome here at the airport when I first arrived was was tremendous. Sure. Um, but uh, visiting uh, the parish in particular St. Jude the celebration to bless that new church uh, that uh, now is in use uh, to see so many people turn out uh, but even visiting we visited nine of the outpost churches uh, over the weekend and uh, each one of them in a very very uh, uh, particular way left a, a, a good memory in my heart uh, as people were so kind and generous and welcoming yes since 1976 there has been a collaboration between Peoria Diocese and Bukoba Catholic Diocese what would you please comment briefly on the mutual benefit of this collaboration mm -hmm. Well, I think that the benefit of our collaboration is uh, broadens both of our understanding of church and the world. Yeah. And uh, so f from our end in Peoria, we have had the great benefit of a number of good priests who have come to serve in our, our parishes, and we honestly need the help of, of priests in our diocese. Uh, and they bring with them some of the culture that they grew up with obviously here in mm -hmm. Tanzania yes. uh, and so they, they, they bring a warmth and a love uh, and a, a deep faith in the gospel that helps our parishes and our parishioners understand uh, that 
the gospel message is, is worldwide. Uh, from our end here, uh, obviously moments like this is we're able to connect people back in the United States uh, to understand the universe universality of the church uh, and to understand how we because we are blessed in many ways we can help and share the blessings that God has given to us uh, to help the communities here grow uh, both as a community but in particular to grow as, as a people of faith and so that mutual sharing of uh, understanding of who we are and we're all brothers and sisters in the Lord and uh, how we can can deepen that relationship uh, has been a great benefit over these these many many years that's nice we know that church is one but not uniform mm -hmm. certainly the way of living and practicing the christian faith in usa and africa are different mm -hmm. from your experience during this visitation what are some aspects which you think church in america can learn from african vice versa sure. faith? there's there's a number of things i think we can learn uh yeah. You know some of the roles of uh, the that that individuals play in a community. The catechist uh, in leading a parish community when the priest can't be there all the time uh, is something that we've always just assume that we'll always have priests for all of our parishes, which is no longer the case. Uh, and so uh, growing in leadership roles, uh, individuals that uh, could be catechists, uh, we have a different understanding of that word in the United States, but uh, nevertheless, the, the idea of having a leader from the community who can guide a parish. Um, you know, the commitment that people have, uh, the dedication they have, uh, to, to be able to share that and see so that when people complain, ah, it's too far to go to church they say no you know somebody will walk two hours just to get to mass on Sunday sure, uh, sure, so sure. things like that and, and of course the expressions of faith especially in the liturgy uh, the beauty of the singing and the dancing um, and and uh, allowing that free spirit of the, the Holy Spirit the free Holy Spirit given to us to to move us in a way that uh, helps us to praise God so we've got a lot to learn from the church in Africa yes one to, uh, we in Africa to learn from America? Well, from uh, America, I think, uh, you know, the, 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 the things that we bring, um, you know, are, are uh, there is a steadfastness in, in faith, a commitment to, to be generous, uh, a commitment to make sacrifice. Those are some of the lessons I think we can share. Sure. By ending up this interview, what special message would you like to leave us with? Oh, I, I would love to say to the people of uh, the Diocese of Bukova in particular, uh, thank you, Asante Sana, for your tremendously warm, loving welcome. Thank you for your witness of faith. Uh, thank you for your commitment to live out that faith so that others may lo know the love of Jesus in their lives as well. Um, this has been a, a most memorable trip that has inspired me to uh, continue to make sure that uh, we share this uh, partnership, this friendship, this commitment to grow together in faith in the years to come. We hope to see you again in Bukoba Catholic Diocese. I hope to be back. <laughs> thanks, for, sana. thanks for your time, Bishop. <laughs> Absolutely. Pelka. Have a safe journey and fry safe. Thank you. Thanks God bless you, Patrick. Okay. Thank you. Namna hayo ni mojiano ambayo tumefanya naye askofu Louis Tilka kutoka Jimbo Katoliki la Peoria Marekani ambapo katika mojiano yake amefurahishwa na makaribisho pindi alipowasili katika uwanja wa ndege hapo mjini Bukoba na pia katika matembezi kwenye vigango mbalimbali misa ilivyodhuliwa na waamini katika kigango cha mtakatifu Jude kule Kenya na ndivyo ambavyo ametuambia katika parokia hiyo ya Kili milele lingine alilotuambia amependezwa kuona mwitikio wa amini katika misa ile na kusema imemwachia alama kubwa ya kumbukumbu kutoka kwa waamini ikiwemo ukarimu na makaribisho kingine ametuambia ametueleza mahusiano ya Jimbo Katoliki la Bukoba na Jimbo Katoliki la Peoria moja ya swali ambayo nimemuuliza ushirikiano huo ulianza vipi na mwaka 1976 ndio ushirikiano huo ulioanza ametuambia kuwa Jimbo Katoliki la Peoria ambapo mapadri wametokea nchini Tanzania ikiwemo kwa Jimbo la Katoliki la Bukoba amesema wamepeleka utamaduni wa imani ambayo wamekuwa nayo tangu utoto na hivyo kuwarithisha waamini wa Jimbo Katoliki la Peoria na kusambaza baraka sehemu mbalimbali. Mbali. Aidha amesema kuwa amejifunza mengi ya imani kutoka hapa nchini Tanzania ikiwemo makatekista ambao wanafanya kazi ya uinjilishaji 
mahitaji kazi kubwa na kuwapongeza makatekista kwa kazi kubwa na ifanya na ikiwemo uamini wanaosafiri umbali mrefu kwenda kupata huduma ya kushiriki misa takatifu kila domini kana amependezwa na waamini wanavyoimba na kucheza katika zile misa takatifu e, hasa kwetu sisi hapa Tanzania kucheza na kuimba na kurusha huku na huku kuruka watoto pia ikiwemo wanavyocheza na kufurahi njia moja wapo ya kuruhusu roho mtakatifu ata wale katika maisha yao na katika misa takatifu wamemshukuru kila mmoja kwa upendo imani na ule moyo wa hari ya kushiriki katika misa takatifu mwamko E, namna ambavyo tunashiriki kikamilifu. Ni hayo ambayo ametueleza. Nipende sana kukushukuru mtazamaji kwa muda ambao umetufuatilia katika mahojiano haya na Askofu Jimbo Katoliki la Pori ya Marekani, Askofu Louis Tilka ambaye kwa siku ya leo ndivyo ambavyo anaondoka na kurejea kwa Jimbo Katoliki la Kayanga. Tumtakie kila lililo jema na amesema ipo siku atarejea nam kwa jimbo katoliki la Bukoba huenda ikawa jimbo lingine lakini tumuombe Mwenyezi Mungu azidi kuimarisha ushirikiano kati ya jimbo katoliki la Bukoba na jimbo katoliki la Pioria nyuma ya kamera alikuwepo Creval Thomas Patrick Pascal Tibanga ndio langu jina uwe na wakati mwema asante na kwa heri Kama kalikonza tulivonangana Kalibata gondize tulishangana yo Nasa 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 Nasa